Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Gardos from Pokemon. So let's get started. We're going to start with the mouth. At the top of our page, we're going to draw a curve for the top of the mouth. From left to right. Now we're going to round out the corners. Curving around on both sides. Now we're going to come down, we're going to pinch in the center and then come back out. We're going to flare out at the bottom here. So we're going to bring the mouth down quite low. So on the left side, we're going to come down and then just curve out towards the left. On the right side, we're going to come down and then curve out towards the right. Now we take these corners and then round them out again. So rounding them out towards each other. Now we're going to scoop up the middle front of the mouth here. So we're going to come up in the middle here. Starting on the left, we'll come up in the middle and then down on the right side. We're going to go ahead and draw on the inside part of the mouth. So we're just going to trace the outer line on the inside, leaving an even spaced gap all the way around. Going across the bottom, and then also rounding out the corners. Go back up on the right, round out the corners at the top, and then just blend it in towards each other. Okay, let's layer in some fangs. So at the top here, on the corner here, we're going to come down and in, and we're going to pull that up underneath the top of the mouth. On the right side, we'll do the same thing but flipped over. We're going to curve in the opposite direction, curving up. On the bottom, we'll do the same thing. We're going to flip these teeth over, so down here, we're going to curve up and in, and then curve down. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So curving up, and then down. We're going to tuck the tongue inside the mouth here. So we're going to go from left to right with a curve, around halfway through the mouth here. In the back here, we're going to draw in the tonsils. So we're going to draw sort of like a half oval in the back of the throat. Let's go ahead and draw in the nose. So we're going to start by drawing a curve up in the middle here. So curving across. Now we're going to round out the ends and tuck them in on top of the mouth. Now for the nostrils, all we need to do is go to the left side here and just draw a curve going to the top of the mouth. Same on the right side. Let's go ahead and add that big crown on the top of the head here. So on the top of this nose on the left side, we're going to go out in an angle. So going out like that. Now on the right, we'll do the same thing, going out at the same length towards the right. We're going to round out the tips with a really small curve. Now we're going to bring these back in, but we're going to get a little bit wider as we get towards the center, but we're going to leave a gap in the middle here. So coming in, do the same thing on the right side, so coming in like that. We're going to round out the center part, so in here, just want to draw a curve, just overlapping that end of that line there. From the tops, we're going to go up for the center of the crown, we're going to go up to a point so angling up and in, rounding out the tip. Now we're going to come back down to the right side, so the top of that line there, coming down like that. Let's layer in the eyes. So from the point where the nose meets the mouth, we're going to curve up underneath this crown, kind of like that. On the right, we'll do the same thing, so curving up and underneath the crown. We're going to draw in the iris, so up here, we curve down and towards the nose. On the right, we'll do the same thing. In the center, we're going to draw in a little pupil. So we're just going to draw a little dot, a black dot, in the center. From here, let's draw on the top of the head. So we're going to draw almost like a half circle tucked in behind the crown. Starting up here, curve up in the middle, behind that point in the middle, and then down on the right side. Now these are going to come down on the side of the head but flare out. So we're going to go down here, underneath this crown, beside the eye, and curve out. We'll do the same thing on the right side, curving out like that. We're going to round out the ends. Now I'm going to pull this back in with a curve going downwards. We're just going to stop it right about there. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So curving around and pulling this back in and down. We're going to overlap the second point that comes out. So coming up towards the eye, curving out. So overlapping that line there. We're going to round out the tip. Now we're going to pull this in towards and underneath the mouth. So curving down. Do the same thing on the right side, so overlapping, curving out, rounding out the end. Now we're going to pull this down behind the mouth, curving down like that. And there's one little point that comes out beside the mouth here. So we're just going to draw a curve that goes out, round it out, and then pull it down behind the mouth. Do the same thing on the right, so curving out, rounding out that point. Now we're going to curve downwards behind the mouth there. Let's layer the fins in behind the head here. So just in between these two points, we're going to draw a curve that goes out. 
up and out. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So just measuring out, making sure they're roughly the same length. We're going to pull these back in, but we're going to taper the line, starting from the tip, so it gets a little bit wider as you get in behind those horns. On the right side, we'll do the same thing, curving in like that. From here, we're going to draw the little fin that comes down. It's a little wavy line that comes down towards the chin. So up from this point, we're going to come in towards the right, and then we're going to curve out. We're going to round up the tip. We're going to come back in and do a curve. Curve that comes down and out towards the left. We're going to tuck this in behind the mouth. So we're just going to curve this back in like that. Up in between these two horns, we're just going to draw a curve that goes out, just for a little wrinkle detail. Let's do the same thing on the right. So coming down towards the left, we curve out. We're going to round out that tip, curving around. Now we're going to curve to a point. We're going to pull this back in just behind that mouth there. In between these two horns, we're just going to pull a curve like that. Now the body is made up of a series of circles tucked in behind each other. So we're going to do like a big sort of reverse S shape for the body back here. So we're going to start with the main one behind the head. So just beside the top of the head here, we're going to curve up behind the horn. We're going to curve and bring this all the way back down this way on the right side. So curving around, so it looks like a circle, curving down like that. From here, there's one horn that comes out this way, kind of similar to what we've done on the side of the head here. So we're going to curve out. We're going to round it out. Now we're going to bring this back in and down behind the fin, just like that. You're going to see one behind on this side here. So we're going to take this point flip it over and put it in the back here. So starting at the same height, curve up and out, round up the tip and just bring that in behind that horn. Let's add some spikes at the top here. So right here, beside this point, we're going to curve up and out towards the right, and then we're going to pull this back down with a curve. We're going to do an overlap, so we're going to step up here, curve up to a point, and now we're going to curve this back down again. We'll do one final one. So we're going to step up, curve out towards the right, and then we're just going to pull this in behind the body there. Before we get into the rest of the body, I want to add the two little whiskers that come down behind the mouth here. So right where the fin meets the mouth, I'm just going to draw a curve coming down, and then just curl it around like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So coming down, and then curling up. We want to go back over this and just thicken up this whisker. So we're just going to start at the tip and just trace around. So we've got this little white space in between. Goes around like that. Starting on the bottom, on the right side, we'll go down. And we'll pull this back up to that point. From this point now it's a series of overlapping circles behind the head. So we're going to start up here. We're going to curve around and tuck this in behind that mouth. So right here, we'll curve around that fin, curve around the fin, and then in behind the whisker. Now this is going to get tucked in behind the mouth there. We're going to continue this pattern. So from here, on the side of this curve, we're going to curve down and underneath the mouth. So right here, now we've got to sort of tuck these in behind the whiskers and then in behind the mouth there. We're going to draw one more coming down this way. So we're curving down this way towards the left. Starting over here, we're going to circle around and we're going to pull this up underneath the first circle there. We're going to continue this going up to the side here Curving around and pulling that up behind the body. We'll do another one down here. So it's just a re repetitive sort of motion, repetitive pattern. Going right across like that. Now you can see that the body's starting to go this way. We want to come down a few more and then start to turn it backwards. So right here on the left, we're going to curve down and pull this back up. We're going to do another one. Now this is where we start to do the turn. So we're going to come down to the bottom of this curve and curve this all the way around towards the back. Curving around, and now this is going to come across like that. So now it looks like the body is starting to turn this way. We're going to start up here on the side, on the right. Curve around. Now this is going to get tucked in behind all of these circles back here. Continue again. So up here, curve around. Pull that in behind. Now it's going to come back around this way. So I'm going to go over, going across, pulling that in like that. Now we're going to come down. We're starting to come down this way. So we're going to come down to the side of this curve, curve around like that. 
coming down this way. Now the, the circles are going to start to get smaller as we get towards the tip of the tail. So right here, start the first smaller circle coming across like that. Down here, a smaller one, we continue this. We're slowly getting smaller and smaller with these sort of half circles. All right, draw one more. We'll draw a tiny one right down at the bottom like that. Okay, so now we got this sort of like this backwards S shape going on here. Up at the top of this one, we just want to draw a couple more horns or spikes up this way. So right here at the top of this curve, we're going to go up with a curve and pull this back down. It's similar to how we did on the top of the head. Go back up and then we're going to pull that back down. Go up on this curve, draw a short little curve and tuck that in behind that circle. Up here on the side, there seems to be another one going up this way. So we're going to start on the side here, go out with a short curve, pull this back in. Go up so there's a little overlap and then pull that back down and do one more. We're going to step up, curve out and then tuck that in behind the body. Down here, there's another set going out this way. So we're going to do it on this, this little circle here. So we're going to curve out and we're going to curve back in. Step up so there's an overlap and curve back down. Go up again. Now we'll pull that in right behind there. Let's add the little tail here. So in the center of this curve, right here, we're going to draw the main bone that comes down. So we're going to curve over towards the left. Now we're going to taper backwards, getting a little bit thicker as we get back towards the tip here. Now we're going to draw two coming out on either side. So right here, right where this point meets the circle, we're going to curve out. Now we're going to pull this back in again, tapering it as we get back towards the circle. Now we're going to take that and flip it over for the bottom side. So starting right here, curve down. Now we're going to pull this back up, tapering it as we get back up. Now in between these points, we want to draw some zigzags, a little jaggedy end. So we're just going to draw a series like that. It doesn't really matter how many you draw, it looks relatively even across like that. So we've got the main part of the body. Let's add some detail. So up along this curve here, we want to draw some side sort of patterning across the body here. So up along here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that. We want to repeat this curve, kind of curving out along each circle. So from this point, I want to curve out and in. Go around the whisker, down the side. We're going to go around. Down here, we'll go around. And then down here, we'll go around. Now you can see, now that the body's turning, we're going to have to turn these curves. So we're going to step up a bit and curve in the opposite direction, curving upwards. We're going to do this pattern again, so curving up like that. We'll continue. Up. Now up here, because the body's turning this way, we're going to have to reverse the curve again. Curving around like that. These little curves across the side, on the right side of these spheres, of these circles. And we get a little bit smaller as we get towards the bottom here. Now inside here, these are little half ovals in, tucked inside. So we're going to start up here on this side. On the side here, we're going to curve up. This is just for a little bit of pattern detail. We're just going to curve this in towards the side of the body. So it doesn't have to be a full half oval. I'm just going to curve across like that. Down here we'll curve. Now because the body's turned this way, you can see the oval pointing in that direction. So up here we're just going to curve a half oval like that. And up here. Do one up here. Now we're turning this way. So we're going to go sideways slightly. Now as we get down here, we're going to change directions. We're going to curve downwards like that. Now we're going to continue what we did on the side here along this bottom tail area. So up here we're going to curve, tuck that into the side. And just continue that all the way down like that. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Gardos from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Pokemon playlist. We add two new characters every Tuesday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.